All aboard! The Titanic II Ocean Liner, the near replica of the original Titanic, is set to sail in 2018. Maybe? Maybe not. The Titanic II project is one that I personally have been following for many years now. Hey, let's look at it and see just what's going on here. Hey guys, I'm Michael, and welcome to Cruise Control. Here, we keep you updated on the latest cruise news, share experiences, and offer tips to save you time and money. So if you like cruising, or maybe just thinking about it, hey, subscribe and come be a part of our cruise family. Alright, so the Titanic 2 project has actually been a pretty amazing idea. It was introduced in 2012 by Mr. Clive Palmer, an Australian billionaire and chairman of the Blue Star Line. Almost immediately, the planning stage was set into action. Now, the design of Titanic 2 will be to create a very close, actual replica of the original Titanic. Appearance will be extremely important. However, safety must remain top priority. With this in mind, it was decided that an extra deck would need to be added to provide much greater visibility. The bridge would be very similar to that of Titanic, but would be for show purposes only. Of course, Titanic 2 would be equipped with much more updated and highly sophisticated navigational systems. The passenger cabins would still keep relevant respect to class while focusing attention on the detailed decor. Keep it in mind now that the idea of the dream here is to go back in time and sail on the Titanic. The grand staircase is to be so exact that it's almost eerie, but still just as inviting and beautiful. The dining rooms will also be with close respect to class and once again host first, second, and third class dining. Close attention to detail is paid here also as to match that of the original Titanic. As for amenities on board, keeping things in line here as well, she will offer the indoor swimming pool filled with salt water just as before with a striking resemblance. The gymnasium is to be drafted and arranged with its equipment duplicating that of the time period. The Turkish bath is to be included and matched as close as possible to its original function of more than a hundred years ago. In today's terms, this would be more known as somewhat of a day spa. As for other features aboard Titanic 2, the Marconi room, or communications room, would be replicated and was originally set to be fully functional. The lifts would surely both offer a touch of nostalgia and act as a reminder of how advanced Titanic really was for the time. The smoking room spoke style, sophistication, and yes, power even. This too will be a very close resemblance. Ah, but the true sign of luxury is to be found lunching in the Parisian cafe. Now back in 2012, when Mr. Palmer made the announcement for the project and set plans into action, he also announced that construction would begin for Titanic 2 later that year with a launch date of 2016. The following year, reports began to surface that Mr. Palmer was experiencing financial difficulties and construction was postponed to 2014. A spokesperson for Mr. Palmer released a statement in 2015 stating that construction had been delayed but that Titanic 2 would launch in 2018. There has been press coverage about this project from CNN, 60 Minutes, The Today Show, and countless others, but as of early 2018, construction has never begun, nor is there any sign that it ever will. The Blue Star Line website looks to have been abandoned and has had no updates in years. I'm sad to say, it appears that Titanic 2 
has sunk quicker than the original did and now too will be just a memory Titanic 3 anyone I didn't think so all right guys again I'm Michael if you enjoyed please click the like button and remember to subscribe and hey check out our other videos also check out our cruise gear you might find something really neat that you need for that next cruise the links are listed in the description below thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time